So the LiCOR 6800 is used to provide real-time measurements of CO2 assimilation in photosynthesis. Now, although the machine is really complicated, what it does is pretty simple. Uh, photosynthesis has three main inputs. We've got water, CO2, and light. And so this machi machine controls all of those conditions right here in the head. So this apparatus here, what it does is it first scrubs out water from the air. That way we can start with no water. Then this here will then add in a known amount of water, whether you want 40% water in the air or you want 80% water in the air. This is then the CO2 scrubber. This will scrub out the CO2 from the air, so you can start with zero. Then using a simple CO2 canister, uh, you can then add in a known amount of CO2 into the air. So this allows you to control CO2, this allows you to control moisture. And then finally, the head source. So this is where uh, we shine light onto the plants. So with all three of these, we can then con create a controlled environment to test CO2 assimilation of plants. So the LiCOR 6800 is a way to measure CO2 assimilation. But that's just one part of photosynthesis. The other part is light absorption. You can measure the health of the photosystems in photosynthesis by using this, the multi-spec. All things considered, it's actually a cheap instrument. Instead of being $100,000 to $200,000, this is only $3,000. And so what you can do is set up a protocol on your phone through Bluetooth, and you attach this to the leaf. This machine will shine specific wavelengths of light that will give us data on the overall health of the photosystems, as well as how much light is being absorbed and how much is being reflected back. Additionally, this machine can also give you a measurement of chlorophyll in the leaf. And chlorophyll uh, roughly correlates to the amount of nitrogen in the leaf. So a farmer can actually use this device to go into the field, measure chlorophyll abundance in a non-destructive manner, and be able to determine if their plants, if their crops, need additional nitrogen.